Hi, my name is Yasu and welcome to my sake channel. So today I'm drinking this Japanese sake. The name of it is called Dewa Zakura. And they use uh, the rice called Dewa Sansan. Uh, and apparently like the Dewa Sansan rice is originated from Yamagata prefectures, which is the location where the sake brewery for this sake is located in and the name of the sake brewery is called brewery is called Dewa Zakura Shuzo and it's a Junmai Ginzo a Junmai Ginjo sake and it's a special edition it's actually said that it's the celebration celebration of the birthday birth of Dewa Sansan rice so I think it's a celebration rice no celebration sake for the Dewa Sansan rice. So let's see how this sake is gonna taste like. And as always, I use this special um, Japanese sake glass from Kagami. It's really, really beautiful. Ah, I don't think you guys can see it, how beautiful it is. So let's see how the sake tastes like. And then the first will be smell. And then the smell is. Ah, it's a very nice smell. It's sweet, but it's more like the rice sweetness. And then I can smell a little bit sourness in it. I like it so far. And then the flavor is. So good. The first one is slip it. Um, very clean, clear, uh, mellow in you know, a texture, and there's no flavor. Bit sweet, which is good, but not fruity though. And then once it gets into my onto my tongue. I can taste the the sweetness of the rice and also the juicy flavor. Ah, so good. Oh my god. Drinking sake is one of the my recommended ways for people to you know enjoy and experience Japanese culture. So if you wonder how you know which sake you should try, I recommend you to try Dewa Zakura, Jumai Ginjo, uh, Dewa Sansan. And then the Yamagata Prefecture is, I mean, you can buy it nationwide, I believe, especially if you come to Tokyo, if you go to like sake stores, I hope they have Dewa, Dewa Zakura. But it's not that far away from Tokyo to uh, Yamagata. Just you know, take Yamagata Shinkansen, and it just takes only like three hours. That's it. It's not far away. And uh, I just want to let you know that Japan is just a tiny island. However, it's not that small. That's why like it takes you know three hours from Tokyo to Yamagata prefectures, and you can suddenly go to, go there. I don't know what's there, but you, it might be fun for you to experience some local, you know, cultures and everything in Yamagata prefectures. Plus, as you might know, you know, Japan is facing the population declining. Um, Yamagata prefectures, which is located in Tohoku, like northern part of Japan, but you know, not that far away as far as Hokkaido. Uh, the population, it's in Tohoku region by the way, and in the population of the Yamagata prefectures as of April in this year, uh, 1 million and then 446,000 and then 14 people. It sounds actually a lot, but compared to why or why, they have lost more than 14,000 people and it, it just keeps happening. Uh, it, it's just a serious issue, so I'm drinking this to support 
the Wazanku Rashizo, the Sake Brewery, and the Yamagata Prefecture. So please do the same thing. Support Yamagata, support the Dewa the Wazaku Rashizo. They need your help because Japan is becoming so poor. And then the border is open for international students and then the business travelers and then now opening up for the tourists and i have made a few videos and then i got more details about what's happening in this month so 50 people officially have been selected to you know to welcome them to come to japan on the uh, tourist visa and it's all over the news in both Japanese and English, so you might have already known because it came out um, May 17th from Japan Travel Agency. And then those 50 people are from only four countries America, Australia, Thai, and then Singapore. And then by the time you see this video, they might be already in Japan and in conditions for those 50 people like you know they should be vaccinated three times they should be on the group tours and they can only go to a destinations that's pre-approved by the government and all the itineraries need to managed by the uh, travel agency uh, and then always Tour guys must be with them. But if you happen to be one of those 50 people, welcome, welcome back to Japan. They've been and I've been waiting for you guys. And you're gonna get extra omotenashi, means warm welcoming from everyone here. And then the most important thing is that everything is becoming so so cheap for you guys so please just enjoy nice cuisine food uh, yeah cuisine is food and alcohol buy a lot of things enjoy everything and then just spend so much money in japan to help japan's economy and then once you prove that everything is safe then more people can really come to japan on the tourist visa and then what it has been discussed and it's still in the like the kind of rumor level though but after the election which is going to take place in this july and most likely starting from possibly um september of course the tourists on the group tour could you know continue to come to japan but the Japanese government might open the borders for the individual foreign tourists. So, um, everything is really depending on you guys. No pressure, just come here, spend money and enjoy it. So, I think it's a very good news and they're really trying to do something better for everyone. And you might heard that oh japanese people don't like you know foreign tourists coming to japan but don't listen to it the media is just only focusing on those people majority of people in japan they know that we need tourists and then once you are here you don't really have to go to yamagata prefectures but you happen to go to a sake store and thinking which sake you should try them this is one of your options Dewazakura from Yamagata prefectures so I think that's all for today um, if you can subscribe to my channel I really really appreciate it and then if there is any sake that you can recommend me uh, please let me know so that I really want to try something new so um, I hope to see you in my next video. So for now, Jane, bye bye.